Welcome to another I2R Tech Lighting Solutions tutorial video. The Moving Head Controller 2.0 can be set up under a few different modalities. Modalities are like functional behaviors and each one of the six available light groups can be set up as one of these modalities in a mixed configuration fashion. The three modalities that we speak of are sliders mode, pan and tilt mode and follow spot mode. They were already introduced and described in the sliders mode tutorial, so make sure you watch that one before you continue here. In this video, we explain how to use the moving head controller 2.0 in follow spot mode for the system with two moving heads. It is assumed that at this point, the right libraries were created and assigned to the corresponding light groups and that the system is calibrated as it was explained in previous tutorial videos. To activate the follow spot modality for one or more moving heads, the lower and the upper buttons for the corresponding light group must be on. And one of the lights doing the follow spotting must be in the active state. The lower button for it should be blinking, that is. In follow spot mode, the joystick does not control the pan nor the tilt angles for any of the lights, but instead the actual spotlight's location on the floor or stage as X and Y coordinates. The X and Y coordinates are shown on the LCD display. They are the relative distances to a reference point chosen during calibration, usually like one. The moving head controller 2.0 will do the required calculations to find the proper pan and tilt angles for each light. So they all aim to the same X and Y coordinates location. For example, if the reference point was the light one, then for coordinates x equals to 0 and y equals to 10, all lights will aim at 10 feet in front of light 1. For coordinates x equals to 10 and y equals to 0, all lights will aim 10 feet to the right of light 1. For coordinates x equals to 10 and y equals to 10, all lights will aim 10 feet to the right and 10 feet in front of light 1. 45 degrees. But when follow spotting, there is no need to worry about coordinates really. From the vantage point of the operator, located at the command center behind the controller, the spotlight on the floor will move in the same direction that the joystick is pushed to. And so, the task of follow spotting a moving target consists of simply correcting the aim of the lights by gently pushing the joystick in the direction of the target. That's it. There is no training or previous experience required to do the job. Thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to watch the entire series to get a good grasp of all the potential and different possibilities for the moving head controller 2.0.